This video explains how to use product checkbox lines. Product checkbox lines are one of the many types of self totaling items used to sell products and services. Use product checkbox lines to allow your customers to choose products that are in plain view. The product descriptions and prices are predefined by you. Products are chosen by checking a box and or changing the quantity. Each product checkbox line will have only one product per line. If you prefer to have multiple products per line, use product selection lines instead. On this live form preview, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you where, here's an example of a product checkbox line. Large widget, medium widget, small widget are all product checkbox lines. Up above here are examples of product freeform lines. And down below, choose gadgets is an example of product selection lines. We're going to focus on product checkbox lines. I want to start in this example by selecting a large widget. I click 2, and as you, you can see, the total has changed to reflect my quantity. If I choose 10, the total changes again. So is the subtotal and the grand total. In this case, there happens to be a shipping charge. So uh, a total of $9 is added to the grand total. Next, I'm going to show you how to make changes to your product checkbox lines. First, you must go to the form editor, which I had a session ready. You can get to the form editor by logging in, clicking the My Forms tab, and then Form Editor. Now that I'm on the form editor, I'm going to scroll down and find my three product checkbox lines. But first, I want to clean up this form and get rid of things I don't need, like product freeform lines. So I'll put the mouse over those product freeform lines, any one of them, and click delete. I'm going to do that for the, the other nine. I also want to delete the column headings that were associated with the product freeform lines. So I'll delete that. Okay, and I also want to get rid of the product selection lines, which were the choose gadget. Delete that. Okay, now I'm just left with product checkbox lines. Let's say I want to add a new product checkbox line. We can start by copying one. So I'll copy small widget. Now, now there's two small widgets. I can go in and edit one of the small widgets and change the description. I'll call it tiny widget. And I'll change the price to a dollar. So now I have a new product checkbox line called tiny widget. I also want to show you how to add a new checkbox line a brand new one. Scroll up and go and click on the add new items button. Go over to the self totaling lines area and click on product checkbox. Scroll down to where you want to place it. I want to place it right after medium widget. And we'll label this widgets. and we'll call it Average Widget. And at a price of $5. And we'll click Add Item. Now as you can see, there's our Average Widget. And you notice something different about this guy is it has a label over the top. The other checkbox lines had their label suppressed. We can do that to this one as well. Go ahead and edit the average widgets. Click Label Hidden. Click Apply. And as you can see, that label disappears. One other thing you might be confused about is, this is these items are called product checkbox lines. 
but there's no checkbox. That's because these checkbox have been suppressed. First, I'm going to I'm going to show you how to put the checkbox back in if you choose to do so. First, let's uh, save changes. Okay, changes saved. Next, we're going to go to miscellaneous form settings. And then on the column to the right, we're going to choose QTY equal 1. QTY equals 0 means that checkbox disappears and you use the quantity to make your selections. So I'm going to select QTY equal 1, click update, and then go back to the form editor, scroll down and you see all of our checkbox lines now have a checkbox in front of it. I'm going to go back to our live form, click refresh, and as you can see, all of the product checkbox lines have a checkbox. So we can make our selections by clicking checkboxes now. And you can also make selections by changing the quantity. If I change this quantity to zero, the checkbox gets unchecked. If I add a quantity, the checkbox gets checked. Don't forget to save changes. Thank you for listening.